This is the moment the chipmunk has been waiting for. The time for acorns to fall is only a short one or two weeks, so it must seize the opportunity to hoard. The chipmunk's huge cheeks can stuff in many acorns, but looking at those cheeks bulging, I have to say, can't you come back a few more times? No one's competing with you. Do you really have to cram them in? The chipmunk will stash hundreds of acorns in its own burrow to serve as winter food. But it seems like it's not hoarding fast enough. At this moment, a cunning chipmunk has its eye on its food. Taking advantage of the little chipmunk being away, the older chipmunk steals the acorns unnoticed. The little chipmunk, busy collecting food, doesn't notice anything unusual. The more the little one hoards, the more its neighbors steal. To make matters worse, many nearby acorns have already been hollowed out by bugs and are worthless. What can be done about this? Keep searching, I guess. Autumn is coming to an end. And at the current rate of harding, the chipmunk's chances of surviving the winter are slim. It needs to prepare more nuts. Now, there's only one last resort. That's entering the territory of the enemy. An older chipmunk might be willing to steal. No choice for survival. The little chipmunk can only take risks. But it's ultimately inexperienced. The little chipmunk gets caught. I say I didn't steal. Do you believe me? Look, do you believe me or not? The forest is so big. But for them at this moment, it's just too small. Run. The little chipmunk is not the same as it was in the summer. This time it doesn't run away. It chooses to confront head-on. The injured older chipmunk flees in panic. Now it finally has the ability to protect its territory.